On May 13th, 1981, Pope John Paul II was shot at point-blank range by a hired assassin. He was actually getting ready to deliver his next audience in the Theology of the Body of Chapter 3, Part 1, titled, Christ Appeals to the Resurrection, and he was shot. It changed the whole world. That moment was almost the beginning of the eclipse of the Church, and yet John Paul II entered in so courageously. He loved us like a father loves us. He mirrored St. Joseph and God the Father as he guided us to Jesus. The gift of theology of the body cannot be overstated. You know, thousands of miles away when this horrible tragedy shocked the world, there was another woman watching the newsreels, but she had a hard time seeing the television because her boyfriend the night before had beaten her so severely that her eyes had swelled shut. But she did the one and only thing that could give her any comfort. And that was to offer up her suffering to Jesus for the sake of a miraculous recovery of the Holy Father. Of course, we know the story. John Paul II survived, recovered, began actually teaching theology of the body just several months later in November of 1981. He took back up the mantle with the ironic line uh, as he said, Today we take up again, after a rather long pause, the meditations we've been presenting for quite a while, which we've defined as reflections on the theology of the body. It's like he said, I'm back. <laughs> what a gift. What a gift that we have in John Paul II. And that woman who went through so much prayed for his recovery. And I believe that that redemptive suffering affected her very life because she got away from that guy. And she married my dad. Praise God that they gave me the gift of life. And praise God for someone like John Paul II who gave us the gift of theology of the body to show us the Father's love, especially during this year of St. Joseph. It's been 40 years. Hopefully now we can enter the promised land together. I invite you to read the blog. It's a great exciting experience as we continue moving forward into the promised land. God bless you all.